the next lecture, I'm going to give a simple client server socket example. This simple client server example program has two parts, basic one s0.py and the basic one c0.py. And you can watch this video, client underline server.wmv. Now, I'm going to have the PyCharm IDE as the server side and my idle as the client side. And I'm going to follow these procedures. Let's get started. First, I need to set up the server size socket. So, the first thing I need to do is to import socket module. For everything. Second thing I need to do is to declare a server socket. Usually we use a lower case S variable as the server's ID. Now let's do this AF underline INDT. That means the IPv4 address. Now the next thing I need to have SOC stream to use the TCP protocol and then hit return. Okay, I have a typo. Anyway, let me type again. Now, I need to find the local host. Without specifying any IP address, that would be the local host. So you need to bring up the local host first. The port number is 15,000. And then this need to be in the tuple format. So I need to put another layer of the parentheses and hit return. The next thing is like I, I need to type in s.listen for five. Five means to listen to the maximum of five concurrent connections. Hit return. The next thing is type C as the client socket and then A as address equals S dot accept. Anytime you have this S dot accept, it's trying to set up a connection with the client side and then hit return. Now it's waiting for the client side. On the client side, I'm doing the same thing from socket import everything and then setting the s equals socket af underline int comma s o c k underline s t r e m e a m and then parenthesis it return now. The server need to connect it to localhost, and again localhost will be in a tuple. So type in localhost, comma one five zero zero zero, and then hit return. Now the client and server are connected. The next thing we need to do will be on the server side. We check the client. The client is this. We can actually take a look on it. Its return address is 127.0.0.1, and that is your localhost. And now we also can check address. It will be this and this port number. Now on the client side, we can hit s.send that would be the client trying to send a, a set of data to the server so we need to send it in byte formats so it need to be bytes and then at hello world and then utf a then two layers of the parentheses. And on the server side, we need to set data equals on the client side, receive 
and then size is 1024 bytes and then let's print data you can just type in data on this uh, interpreter but when I print it will be by format hello world and let's turn to the next page on the next page the server will be sending data to the client so client we send same thing here you need to be by format and then put in your hello yourself and then and then comma single code UDFA that's the encoding for the code after that it return and it send 14 byte over and on the receiver side we type IESP equals S dot RECV 1024 and then let's print parenthesis RESP and it got the hello yourself. So now on the receiving side again to receive another one K bytes you will be waiting on the server side as send see right here I'm going to hit it see what happened on the current side when I hit it the current side received a goodbye now I'm to going to close the client the client is closed now on the client side I continue to receive and because the connection have been dropped here I hit return it will be empty stream if I do again C A equals S dot accept, then I establish a new connection. And on the right hand side, I started from the sub building of the circuit first. And then I put its connection again. After the connection is no longer hanging there. So now let me close this again and I finish this client side I will close it the next thing I'm going to do is actually I'm trying to send a web page from server to the browser and the browser will be connected to the local host as a client and I'm using the same setup on my browser.py file, it will connect you to the website. So right now, let me run it. Let me run this browser.py program. And then on this side, I actually type in this localhost column 15,000 slash index.html and hit return. And as you can see, the hello world has been sent over here. So this complete to send a web page to the website on the local host. Thank you. Bye.